the small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views uh, that they're expressing do not represent the views of Canadians who have been there for each other, who know that following the science and stepping up to protect each other is the best way to continue to ensure our freedoms, our rights, our values as a country. Well, that was Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau talking about a convoy of Canadian truckers making their way to the country's capital. Yeah, the group is protesting the government mandate requiring that any truckers arriving from America be fully vaccinated or quarantined for 14 days. But this doesn't look like a fringe minority to me. Supporters have gathered on overpasses and roadsides cheering them on. The convoy left from Vancouver earlier this week and is making its way to Ottawa for a protest outside Parliament. Canada's media is barely giving this movement attention. And when it does, it's always negative. But joining us now is someone who's giving these truckers the attention that they deserve, chief videographer at Rebel News, Mocha Benzergen. Thank you so much for being with us tonight, Mocha. Hello, everyone. Tell us about tell us about the scene there. You've been following this. Obviously, it looks so impressive on television, us watching from afar. But tell us what it's been like being out there with the truckers and the response that they've been getting. Well, I've been following the convoy for the last 3,500 kilometers all the way from Calgary, Alberta, to Ottawa, Ontario. And right now, the truckers are coming to their pit stop here where they're going to spend the night and then we'll continue to Ottawa across the route all the way from Calgary to actually the convoy started from BC, British Columbia, Vancouver. That's the other end of Canada, all the way from Vancouver to Ottawa. Thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of supporters on the sidewalks, on the roads, on intersections, in front of their house. Some are in ones and twos, in 20s and 30s, some in hundreds and 200s. And as we come close to Ottawa, the amount of supporters just grow exponentially. And it's crazy. We, I have not expected it to be this big. The support. Well, it's wow. interesting. And, um, sorry, go ahead. Well, it's interesting because you have, you heard uh, Justin Trudeau there really cutting these people down, saying they're unacceptable views. This is fringe. Well, there's a lot of fringe people, I guess, coming out. You even have people um, like <laughs> Donald Trump Jr. coming out, Elon Musk coming out and supporting them. Do these truckers feel the support, not just from those people who are cheering them on on the side as they're passing by, but from the country and from the world? Yes, I had the opportunity to interview some of the truckers. And whenever I ask them about the support they are getting, whether it be from the people outside they, they see or um, across the world, they start to cry. And I am not exaggerating. I asked three truck drivers. Three of them started crying because they did not expect this much support. It's really, it's really incredible. Whatever is going to happen in Ottawa, Today, tonight, or tomorrow, it's going to be something very interesting. I'm very sure of that. Mocha, uh, obviously you got the prime minister calling them a fringe group, as Lindsay also mentioned. But, you know, there's a lot of concerns that security at Parliament there in Ontario is saying uh, to lawmakers to lock your doors. You might be targeted. They're kind of comparing this to maybe a Canadian Jan 6th. What do you say to that? What do these truckers say to that? Well, obviously, they are not like that. And they say, no, we're not a fringe minority. We're the majority. We're the people. And I believe them. they are the people because I see the numbers. And look at their demands, regardless of what, who they are. Just look at their demands. They demand freedom. They demand their bodily autonomy be respected. There is, there is no such thing as, you know, the, the media in Canada was quick to paint them as racist and white supremacists and so on and so forth. But nothing could be more further than truth. That's not true at all. There is a big, big unity here. I myself, I'm from Turkey, and I have inter interacted with hundreds of people here. And I can, I can genuinely tell you it's, it's more diverse than the Liberal Party of Canada.
Mocha, real quick, because we don't have a lot of time left, but I know they've raised a massive amount of money uh, on GoFundMe. I understand the funds haven't been released. Where does that stand right now? We don't have a lot of time left. Do you know? Unfortunately, I don't know about that. I know it has been frozen. I've been following the convoy, so I only know about the things that have happened on the ground. Well, no question, a lot of support. Uh, before we let you go, are you able to pan the camera just a little bit so we can see the trucks that are behind you? These are just some of the trucks. These are just some of them. There are more, hundreds and hundreds of more that are, that are coming. We were stationed over there where supporters were welcoming the truckers, but unfortunately, the police have shut down the highway, so no more trucks are coming here right now. There is uncertainty on the ground. Wow, that's so impressive, and I understand in some very frigid temperatures as well. Uh, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Mocha Bezergan, great reporting.